What's up guys? So today I'm headed to Vegas. I'm also getting my tattoo done. Like, this is nuts. I'm gonna be on the flight to Vegas alone. This will be my first flight ever alone. I know it's probably fine. It's probably not that scary, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh God. Hopefully everything goes well because I haven't traveled outside of Canada since COVID. I did get my test and everything, but like, hopefully it goes smooth. Okay, Um. so I'm headed to my tattoo appointment now. I have all my shit for the airport in the trunk. Um, and I figured I would talk to you guys while I attempt for the first time ever to put on a tattoo numbing cream. So I'm getting a tattoo in the ditch of my arm, which is going to be fucking painful. Why not try it? See what happens. It's supposed to be simple. It says to put two millimeters thick of cream. What is two millimeters of cream? What does that mean? and then to put plastic wrap around it. I brought my plastic wrap. Doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so I'm just doing that spot there. So I don't really need like too much. I say that and I feel like I applied a lot. Um, okay really make sure most of that numbing cream is in the ditch okay it says to apply it 40 minutes before the tattoo so um i'm an hour before so it should be fine um okay it's all greasy i don't know if that's two millimeters i hope i have put enough this is a wrapper oh that's excessive maybe i'll and then it says the plastic wrap is supposed to help it. So it's gonna, I don't know, help it activate, help it numb, help it do something. Um, what time is it? What time is it? It's probably time to go to the tattoo! <laughs> I got a spot literally right out front. Holy crap, this is awesome. I'm like 30 minutes early though, but this is perfect because I forgot to eat. Like always eat before a tattoo. It's not good not to eat. Like you get lightheaded, you can faint, like all that shit. The only thing that I know is in the area is Krispy Kreme. So I mean, kind of seems like it's meant to be. Kind of seems like I'm being forced to, to, to get it, if you ask me. If you guys want to see the donut I got. Isn't he so cute? Mm. All done. Okay. Let's take the sky off. You know what? I'm rubbing in the last cream, like the leftover cream. I'm pretty sure it's numb, but it's so weird. Like I'm touching it and I know I'm touching it cause I'm touching it, but like, I don't think I feel it. Oh, this is weird. Okay. All right. Let's get me a tattoo. Our day open.
Oh my god, my tattoo is done! Holy shit! So I'm a fucking idiot. My tattoo apparently was at 1. It wasn't at 12, so I was an hour early. Um, the main downside is that me being an hour early meant that I also applied my cream an hour early. So I was only numb for an hour of the two hour tattoo. Fuck six! I was numb for the outline and then the shading was painful. It's fine. It actually, like, it wasn't that bad. It's definitely not like my worst pain wise, but definitely not worse than my sternum. No, but I was very sad that it didn't last. If I had realized my appointment was at one and not 12, it would have lasted, but I'm an idiot. So it's fine. Now I am booking it to the airport. Um, I did this fucking park and fly shit. So they're going to park my car and I'm going to go and jump on my flight. Ah, let's go, baby. They made it to the airport. Only to find out my flight got delayed. So delayed, they stopped updating it after two hours. the most stressful like two hours of my life <sighs> I try very very hard to be like an independent confident woman who can do everything for themselves because I can why can't I but I got off my flight my <sighs> connecting flight in Chicago was canceled so I went to the Air Canada customer service desk, asked them for help, asked them to help me book a hotel. I thought it would be covered because my flight was canceled and I had nowhere to stay, but apparently it's not. And the lady at the customer service desk was not very nice, pretty much just handed me my boarding pass for tomorrow and started talking to her friend. And when I asked her what I'm supposed to do for tonight, she said, well, that's not my problem, figure it out. <laughs> so I was walking around trying to calm down. Didn't help, started fucking crying in the middle of the Chicago airport. <sighs> so once I started crying, I couldn't stop crying, so I was fucking just walking around like a lunatic, crying, sniffling, not knowing what the fuck to do. I don't know why talking about this is like working me up again. <laughs> like it's just a flight. <laughs> oh! But anyways, I tried to get help. I asked a security guard what to do. He told me to sleep in the airport. It was like 9.30 p.m. My flight was at 7.30 a.m. the next day. He's like, stay in the airport, sleep in the airport. It's your best bet, which terrifies me, to be honest. Like, staying alone in an airport overnight, sleeping, leaving my belongings. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. Uh, I couldn't even call anybody. I had to try to FaceTime or WhatsApp my dad and my fiance and try to beg them for help. But then... This very, very nice old man saw me crying. He was on my flight with me and he saw me crying on the bench and offered to split a taxi with me. What am I saying? Offered to pay for the taxi because his work was paying for it. So he offered to pay for the taxi and we could go to a hotel and obviously get separate rooms, but guys, like, I don't know how to explain, like, how fucking <laughs> relieved I was when this random old man came up to me to help.
when this guy started helping me, it just, <laughs> all my stresses went away. And at least like somebody was there with me. Somebody who was dealing with the same thing and they know what to do. And they had a working cell phone. <laughs> God. <sighs> so I'm not gonna be in Vegas tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna get there around 9.30 tomorrow. And then, <laughs> and then we're gonna celebrate my friend's birthday. We're gonna have an amazing, <sighs> we're gonna have an amazing weekend. This was my first time traveling alone. <laughs> it was just terrifying. God. Like I know this is irrational, I know that like, like in the end, everything would be fine. I could have like worst case scenario slept in the airport, like, but I don't know why that was just so terrifying. It was just miserable. I don't suggest getting your flight canceled, especially with Air Canada due to weather conditions because they will not help you. They won't do anything. This is just not a fun night. <sighs> Tomorrow will be better, guys. Good morning. <sighs> it is a new day. I have slept terribly for four hours. Time to head to the airport. Round two. Let's see if we make it to Vegas. <laughs>
and we're already in bed. We're no, I'm just kidding. Up. We're getting up. We're getting up. We're not we that We will late. get up. We will. We are. We're going to do it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We will get back up. Oh, literally, we went to Carbone and like, fuck, ate the now whole menu. Food coma. Literally a food coma. Like, so much food. We took two bags home. Like, the fuck? We don't even have a microwave. Like, what are we doing with this food? <laughs> like, I can't. Pretending yeah. like we're gonna eat it only Clearly. to leave it here two days from now. 100%. So I hope they can uh, throw it out. Yeah, maybe the maids will enjoy it. <laughs> it was good what we did eat, though. Yeah, what we did eat. <laughs> now we're all gonna have to squish into tiny dresses. God. Why did we eat pasta just to squish into tiny dresses? Like, so stupid. So, so bad. Oh! Oh, I like it. No, that looks. That looks good! Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like. I don't know. I was imagining the whole thing see through, considering what you showed us earlier. <laughs> but it looks good! I mean, if you're not comfortable in it, it like, it's not worth no, it. Not. Are my legs okay? You didn't oh. even tell me. I wasn't even looking. I, she's <laughs> taking my picture. <laughs> no, she takes hours of footage. Okay, we have to adjust and get it perfect. <laughs> it's like, like there's the same five posts. I know. <laughs> but like, what else is there? there? I know, I'm trying to think, like, what do people, how do I pose? Like, A half fist. And then you touch your hair with the other hand? Like that? A half fist? Yeah, but you just did. You know what, Marissa, maybe you just... Stay I'm there. filming. <laughs> I'm filming. I'm a celebrity right now. Ha ha, laugh, ha ha, oh my god, life is ha, so ha. great. Final outfit. Outstanding day. I love it. First night in Vegas. Almost done. I made it. Yeah. I'm so happy, but I actually made it. Just left Dunkin' Donuts. Met the fucking most hilarious workers there. Like, <laughs> they were they were telling us that, oh my god, the massage chair is starting. I didn't pay for this. But they suggested us to go to sugardaddymeat.com because we would make really good sugar babies. Apparently. Apparently. We're Apparently open for business. Not. Come over, sugar daddies. <laughs> oh, I'm actually so excited for the other new bagel things. Okay, these fucking assholes. Who puts it in like this? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Ooh, they're little like bagel bites. What's it filled with? Mmm. Mmm, it's warm. You know what? These are nice, but like, I don't think I can have a second one. I don't know. I'll put my avocado toast. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really taste the avocado. I mean, they're just bacon. <laughs> It's probably just like that easy baked crisp bacon. Man, I was so desperate for food. So desperate. I don't think I have any bread. Oh my god. It's really tangy. It's like a tangy avocado toast. Her is gorgeous. I just want to be at like a beach. <laughs> Look at you, so far you haven't lost money. Oh, oh.
in normal Jersey? Because if you said yes, then I have nothing to worry about because it's a fucking youth Jersey. I got this. Last day in Vegas, headed to the hockey game. Fuck, I was gonna say the Raiders again. The Knights versus Minnesota. The Knights versus Minnesota. Woo! Go Knights, right? That's what we're cheering for. <laughs> so our friend Nicolette, she went to her brunch with her family today. Um, and brunch at 11 a.m. turned into 5 p.m. It is now 5.20. The game starts at 6 p.m. And she's still not back and still has to change. So, Marissa and I have set up everything for her. We got you, girl. Your accessories, got you. Merch, got you. Underwear, got you. Socks, shoes, got you. You just wait, though. The second you enter your room, we'll be waiting. So nice of you to Hello. join us. Come We've set out your outfit for Guys, you. I was literally everything I even put underwear out for you. Everything <laughs> is ready, bitch. Change! Rip your clothes off! <laughs> we put socks out for you. I was literally just banging on the door. Were you? Yes! We didn't even hear you! Guys, guys, and no one ever comes like, no, you know what Marissa's her angry at me? Change! Like, change as you talk! So fast, but we had a lot of fun, and that's what matters. Wow, what sad music for our like last walk in Vegas. This is depressing. <laughs> tattoo wrap so let's do it let's see how this goes i've only had a, a derm wrap like this before twice first time not the greatest um i think it was a cheaper brand it really stuck to my tattoo it was fucking annoying second time not so bad like a little painful it's kind of annoying to take off but i don't know so let's see how this goes 
you definitely want to be taking it off in the shower under warm water this is not something you do dry this is not something you do fast you don't just rip her off so take your time I have a hairy arm I like to get the edges first. I find pulling like down is easiest, less painful. Sanitar was pretty much like completely off. I'm just gonna quickly wash it um, with like an unscented fragrance free soap, all that shit. Gently. Now make sure to dry with a clean towel. Fray. Okay, so I'm gonna let my tattoo just like air dry a bit. I really want it to dry out, um, especially with my tattoo being right in the ditch of my arm there, like right in the elbow or inner elbow. Um, I have gotten like these leaves here. They did get infected before because they were just too moist. I know I hate that word too, but sorry. Um, so I really just want to keep this guy dry. Um, so I'm going to let him air dry for a bit. Um, and then I'm going to put my moisturizer on. After I moisturize it this time, I probably will try to stay away from the moisturizer. I don't want to get it. Like I said, like I, I just, I really don't want it to, to get infected. I want it to heal well. I know I'm going to have to do a touch up like Calvin already warned me. That's fine. But like, I want this baby to heal real well. I'll show a photo too of what it looked like right after the tattoo because Calvin sent me a photo of the tattoo and I love it. Like it looks amazing. Like so it's a white tiger just in case like nobody got that because I don't think I said it was a white tiger. Calvin is so good at like like details. So like the eyes, the whiskers, just like the highlights, those enhancements of the tattoo. I love so I'm in love I love it I'm so happy that I was able to get this guy finished and still go to Vegas with my friends like clearly it was not the greatest idea considering what happened <laughs> but I'm so happy I had so much fun my friends had so much fun we had an amazing weekend so first girls trip was a success